no, what's going on? Whoa, why am I calling? What is, what is going on? on another rustic road <laughs> I am parked on a hill right now but uh, I'm in, in first gear so we shall see how this goes but I am just south of Slinger in where is it um, let's look here I need to take off my glove here in Washington and Waukesha County right on the border so this rustic road looks epic because it is like over 12 miles long and um, at some point you go through or you get a view of Low Lake but then also Holy Hill which is I heard was a, an incredible ride too so I'm kind of crunched for time whoop I'm still in neutral <laughs> I'm kind of crunched for time right now because I still wanted to make the bike night for the Iron Horse Hotel, which is pretty much kitty corner, whoops, I'm too high here, kitty corner from the Harley Davidson Museum. So every Thursday night during the summer, they hold bike nights. So Thursday nights is Thursday nights. And so I am going to try to quickly do this guy because I can't not if I'm in the area and head on down to Milwaukee because I believe there's so many towering trees right now. I'm in part of the Kettle Moraine. So when I was riding in, I was told I was in part of the um, Kettle Moraine Scenic Drive. So super, super cool old road. And it looks like all of these are just epic around here. So we shall see how this one goes, but I've only heard good things about it. So, you get to witness it firsthand. So this is where I go straight? I don't know. <laughs> that way? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's very helpful. Clearly it's not marked at all. So how the heck am I supposed to know? <laughs> Talk about embarrassing. I forget where I was talking. I lost my train of thought. Oh, so I have been thinking about this for a little while now. And I haven't actually said it out loud until up until about a month ago. But I want to do an iron butt ride. So that means you're in the saddle, you're in a on a bike for a longer distance and period of time. So the one I want to do is a saddle sore 1K, so 1,000 miles in 24 hours. And I found, as I was kind of just diving into some of the area and looking at routes, they have a Lake Michigan Circle route, which I thought would be absolutely epic. I have never done the entire loop of the lake before, but I thought this would be the prime opportunity just to get used to um, the area up there do it in a quick short amount of time and then um, eventually take a long trip with my husband on the bikes and do the circle again stop at some of the sites and enjoy it but I wanted to give it a trial run so I believe I'm gonna try to do this in the next two weeks <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm crazy. Am I crazy? 
Probably. But I love to challenge myself and try new different routes. So I decided, you know what? Why not? Why not start? So I'm gonna try to take you along for the entire journey of it. So that means ugh, the start, the prep, packing, the actual ride, my afterthoughts of doing the ride, all of that. And I'm pretty pumped. Alright, so this is the road I need to take. He's still following. <laughs> We shall see how it goes, but I'm super excited to just try my hand at it. I don't want my want to get my hopes up too much because I have heard like there's some people that try multiple times in order to do it, but I don't know. I guess I'm competitive. I've always had the competitive edge. Always. <laughs> through and through. Mentally I, and physically I just want to try to see if I can do this. And if I don't, and I don't complete it in the time frame, then you know what? All right, there's always next time, but I've given myself a good three day buffer to do this so that if something does happen, I at least am prepared to have the time. Yay! Oh, I love, love, love doing these. Oh. Such a cool drive. It's definitely in my top five right now. Absolutely. Wow, some of these houses are just massive. Ooh. I'm sure you guys can feel every bump that I'm hitting, right? It wouldn't be a rustic road without it, that's for sure. If anything, it's gotten me to prepare more for my iron butt ride. So I'm on some of the forums just to ask questions, the Facebook group, just to get feedback from everybody else of so, you know what worked, what didn't work, what are some things that you wish you had brought along with you, what are things that you learned, I am just trying to take it all in. And with riding these rustic roads throughout the day, I um, had put on like 700 miles one day from like, I was on the road from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. And I tried to get as much in as I could. This is the end of that road. Okay, so I need to go this way. We got some bikers. Hopefully it's all good. Oh yeah, they're just chilling. Pause for a second. Oh, go in the gravel. <clears throat> Meow. All right, where am I at? There's no face ID, I understand. Good old gravel. <clears throat> mm. Still 
still super fun. But I have not found the actual numbers to the road. Hopefully we will see it at the end of this one, or the start of this one. Yeah, there's the sign right there, so hopefully. Is this it? Yep, this is Emerald. Okie dokie. Oh hey, we got a sign! Yes! Okay, now I gotta park on a decline <laughs> and get the picture. Oh shit, oh, this is fun. Break. Alright, break. Neutral. Off. Oh, come on, bike. First. Maybe not. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, shit. Oh, there's people running. Oh, fuck. How do I do this, then? Alright, I gotta take it more on an incline. Maybe. Oh, god dang it all. Nope. Alright, know what I'm gonna do? I'm turning around. We're gonna go down. And come back up. Drop my bike. <laughs> oh, I'm a shit show right now. Okay. Let's try this. They don't make this easy. All for a dang picture. And I wouldn't go through all this work unless it was marked before, but it wasn't. Okay. Off. I'm gonna stick it in the gravel. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. All right, first. Stay. <laughs> Do not move. Okay. Okay. Let's get this damn picture. Bike. Okay. Jesus. So we got people training on the Ice Age Trail. <laughs> and I am attempting to finish this. Okay. This is quite the adventure, not gonna lie. Okay, now let's try to do this again. Oh god. Okay, neutral. Oh shit. Neutral. Start. All right, do I ride up or do I try to go back down? We're gonna go up and then back down. That's way too much work. Plus, if I almost dropped it already, I don't want to do that again. Okay, and turn. Okie dokie. Round two. <laughs> Super fun twisties though. Ugh. So it's definitely one I recommend doing. I'm not sure where the Holy Hill Church is. <sighs> that I don't know. Beautiful. Oh, this is the part of Wisconsin that I love. Yes, we do have some flat farmland, but once you get into these gorgeous part of the southern, east, so southwest part of the state, oh, it's awesome. I 
as I go back to my original conversation, what do you think, guys? You think I'm crazy? Should I still do this? Have you guys done this before? <laughs> I'm not sure. But I want to get your feedback because any resources are helpful at this moment. Emerald Lot. Kettle Moraine State Forest. Sweet. So cool. Yep, definitely on my top five. Especially during the summertime. Oh, I can't believe what this would look like in the fall too. Oh, I got goosebumps thinking about it. Definitely coming back for it. All right, in the fall. Oh, there's Holy Hill. I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe. No. Oh, super cool. I don't know. Do I take the next road and try to drive out there? Oh, part of me wants to. I'm so torn. Okay. Do I take it? Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Is that the same guy from before? That's hilarious if it is. Ah, part of me doesn't want to do this one. And he's probably thinking I'm absolutely crazy because I don't know what the hell I'm wanting to ride to. Oh, that's so cool. All right, hopefully, I don't know. I've got a super wide zoom on this run, so you're probably not gonna see much of it, but oh, that's so cool. I'm not in first gear, that's why. Oh, that's super sweet. All right, we're taking a picture. Oh, I need to be in neutral. Maybe. Fogging up. Hopefully I can get it in the background. It's super sunny right now. That's so cool. Epic. So cool. So that's Holy Hill. beautiful spot. Hopefully you guys can see it all. Can I zoom in? Meow. Goodbye Holy Hill. Let's finish up this rustic road. Okay. was an awesome, awesome spot to stop. So it's right on Emerald. And the road, the first road. Oh, you can go straight. On. But I'm gonna finish up this twisty guy and then call it a day. Because I got some other place to be. And the FOMO is real. If you don't know what that means, I barely know what that means. It's the fear of missing out. <laughs> I don't want to miss out on the first night of the bike night. It started about two hours ago, so hopefully, hopefully, I didn't miss too much. But this was definitely worth a stop. Oh no, what's going on? Whoa, why am I calling? What is, what is going on? No, 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 end call. Whoa, that was weird. I think it's because of my phone. And the button, please don't have them call me back. Hello? Yeah, 
No, my phone has is in my, I'm on a motorcycle right now, so it's in my carrying case, and all of a sudden it just decided to do the emergency SOS. So I had no idea and I couldn't stop it, so I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm on the road, I'm on Emerald Road somewhere. I'm on the Rustic Road right now in like just south of uh, Schlinger by Holy Hill. I know. Sure. Uh, Whitney Meza. I'm sorry. Okay, sounds good. How did I do that? Okay, bye. Whoa, weird. Is it because I was holding both of the buttons down? Well, this is an interesting ride. Well, I'm not in first gear either. Well, thank you, phone. Jesus Christ. Okie dokie. Okay. So I don't know where I'm supposed to go here. Okay, we're calling it a day. <laughs> I'm gonna head to the Iron Horse. I have did most of the route, so <laughs> thanks guys. This was very eventful for the 12 miles, a little less than 12 miles that I did it. So <laughs> thanks for tuning in. If you wanna see any more of the rustic roads that I ride, also any of the other motorcycle rides, including the bike night that I'm going to tonight, uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see more of them. And yeah, thanks guys. We'll see you in the next one. Just leave me alone.